Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 14th, Valentine's Day. I'm James Spann. Nice to see the sun back today, the first sunny day since this past Saturday. And then a cold shot coming in here on Saturday to start the weekend. And a pretty good storm system next week. A lot to talk about. So let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at the somewhat insane hour of 5 a.m. A little foggy in downtown Jasper, but the sky is clear. Fog also at Hamilton looks pretty thick there. That's up in Marion County, and that's the Haleyville Sky Cam. A little light fog there, but again, once that fog burns off, things look pretty good today. Drier air is working into Alabama this morning, and uh, we'll be in great shape today. We're starting off the day below freezing in spots. Uh, Haleyville at 28, but look at the variation. That's another great example of why this is not a one-number place. You've got... Haleyville at 28, Anniston at 42. Pick your community and see how cold you were early this morning. Uh, Around the nation, we're watching that nose of uh, much colder air dropping in from Canada. You know, it's really not that cold back in that source region. So hopefully that will prevent it from being too cold here on Saturday. Still, it's going to be a blustery and kind of frigid day to start the weekend. But again, today and tomorrow will feel pretty good. Watch warning map. Things are quiet. Those counties in green down here, those are counties in uh, west and southwest Alabama with river flood warnings still in effect uh, from all the rains we've had here recently. And this is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through uh, Thursday morning of next week. And this is showing rain amounts of about three quarters to one inch here. And the bulk of that would be late Monday night and Tuesday morning of next week. All right, model fans, this is the GFS. This is the 06Z run at noon today. The flow is somewhat zonal. Down below that, the air is dry. Uh, Both the NAM and the GFS are printing a high of 57 today. Tomorrow, the first of two fronts will be coming in here. And we note the GFS is showing a little bit of light rain in the wake of that first front over Tennessee. And I say rain, those thickness values are low enough maybe to support a few snowflakes up there. I think we might mention the chance of a little scattered light rain with that initial front tomorrow evening. I don't think it amounts to much, but we've seen hints with the RPM that there might be a raindrop or two tomorrow evening. So we'll probably insert that in the forecast. And then Saturday, there is your big, deep, cold upper trough. Western Ridge, Eastern Trough, down below that thickness values are excessively low. Uh... But again, back in the source region, you look up there, the the surface numbers are just not that bad. The thickness values are very low, certainly because of the cold air loft. But the models are kind of suggesting that, you know, maybe we might make it out of the 30s. These are the uh, uh, numbers coming off the NAM Saturday afternoon, and it's got like low 40s around here. You know, upper 30s, low 40s, not much of a difference, whatever. It's going to be a cold, uh, blustery day. And, you know, there might be enough moisture to squeeze out a few flurries, but models are in good agreement that this thing, this upper trough, will be moisture starved. So nothing more than a flake or two at best. Sunday morning will be cold, be way down in the 20s. But as you can see, the cold air departs very quickly. And, hey, look at the uh, northern New England up there. They're flirting with another nasty-looking nor'easter thing. Uh, But again, for us, we'll start the day with a good freeze, lows well down in the 20s. But we warm up nicely. The high should be right back in the 50s. So the cold air shot does not last long. Here's Monday of next week. Look at the short wave to the west. Down below that, a surface low develops over Oklahoma. Winds turn into the south. Moisture starts to increase. We should reach the low 60s. Monday night at midnight, trough is getting close. The surface low is north of Memphis. Rain and storms are moving into Alabama at midnight Monday night. And then by noon Tuesday, the storms are exiting the state. So it looks like the main window for rain and storms for us would be from midnight Monday night until 12 noon on Tuesday. And can the air recover for severe weather? Well, the GFS right now is saying no. Uh, Remember in this map, the green, this is where the lifted index is below zero, and the instability just 
nudges up into Mobile and Baldwin counties, and that's really it. Um, and this is valid at 6 a.m. Tuesday. So with the lack of any surface-based instability, we will say now the severe weather chance is just minimal, although a strong storm is certainly possible, but it would probably be, be uh, elevated. But just something to watch. And then Wednesday of next week, we're dry. Seasonal temperatures, 50s and 30s. And then a week from today, look at the trough in the west. Big upper low spinning out of that over the Great Plains. And that's a stacked system down below that, a very deep surface low. That's 983 millibars. And, man, that is a nasty-looking blizzard for Nebraska and parts of Iowa and Minnesota. And down below that, strong storms are likely over Arkansas. So that's something to watch. And this is what what the GFS have been advertising, very active, frequent storm systems late month. And then uh, the following day, this is the 22nd, uh, Friday, uh, the surface low is near Detroit, and the storms have kind of come through here maybe that Friday morning. But this is kind of, uh, you know, venturing out there in voodoo country. But let's look down the line. The 25th, another rainstorm event. 26th, it's still wet and stormy. Heavy rain, if this is right. And on March 1st, it's still wet with a big surface low near Chicago. So, again, you get the idea that uh, late month could be pretty wet, stormy, and active if all of this is right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Again, uh, due to another uh, live shot, be at the BJCC this evening. We'll be doing one video today, uh, hopefully back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. If you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.